All right, the next concept that we're going to review is the slope of a line. Now, the slope of a line is a number that measures the steep, steepness of the line. You've got a couple different ways to represent slope. So one definition of slope is the vertical change over the horizontal change, all right, also known as the rise over the run. All right, and so now a formula to find slope. You're given two points, so you have to have two points, okay? So the first point, let's call it P, second point, let's call it Q. Now these values, so you've got X sub 1, Y sub 1. That's simply the X and Y coordinate of the first point. And then X sub 2, Y sub 2 are the coordinates of the second point. Once you identify your your parts, okay, or your coordinates, you simply substitute into your formula. Now, let me add a little piece here. So, for given two points, you can have a couple different types of slope. You can have what's called a positive slope, and I'm going to draw them here. So, let's say we've got the y-axis, x-axis. If the line looks like this, that, that line, we will say, has a positive slope. All right, if the line looks something like this, so you got your y-axis, got your x-axis, and the line looks something like that, that's what you call a negative slope. And let's try and make that a little bit better. So we got a positive slope, a negative slope. And then you have what's called a zero slope. Which is just a horizontal line. And then, now some people say now this is slope defined, but then you have slopes that aren't defined. So let's say you had a line that was vertical, right? And then this line was vertical, all right? Typically, we'll say that slope is undefined. So you've got potentially four answers for slope. You've got positive, negative, zero, and undefined. Those are your four potential descriptions of the slope. All right, so now, and if you plot those points and you draw that line, those are the only four possibilities that you could potentially have. All right, so let's look at this example. We have... We want to find the slope of the line passing through the points negative 3, 2, and 5, negative 4. So the first thing you do, they gave me two points, so I'm going to label. Now typically, what students would do is they won't put the subscripts in. So they'll say X sub 1, Y sub 1, or they'll just put X and Y. But always label your parts. All right? So now, we have a formula for slope, and it says it's the vertical change over the horizontal change, or the difference in your y-coordinates over the difference in your x-coordinates. Now, you can use parentheses depending on the type of technology that you're using, all right? I've labeled everything. I substitute the values, so y sub 2 happened to be negative 4. y sub 1 is 2. All over, x sub 2 is 5. Minus x sub 1 is negative 3. Now, make sure you put that negative 3 in parentheses. All right, the formula formula calls for a negative sign already. So you keep that negative sign in there. 
and you put negative numbers in parentheses just to help yourself out a little bit. So the slope of this particular line, negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. 5 minus a negative 3, which makes that a positive 3, which makes this 8. Now we always simplify this. So this means our slope is negative 3 fourths. All right, so now by me knowing that this is a negative slope, if I wanted to check my work and, you know, I would have to graph the line. I know my line should be falling from left to right. Okay, so now what does this slope mean? So we've done this part. All right, this means for every three units that I move down, all right, I mean, I move four units to the right. Now, with this negative, it could potentially mean for every three units that I move up, I mean, I move four units to the left. So it's the exact same thing. You can either go down and right, or you can go up 